let's start recording. So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop. Number 46 now. Today is May 18th, 2023. Uh, I think as I mentioned um, before I started recording today is the end of an era and tomorrow the beginning of a completely new era where we uh, it's the the what is the era of the light <laughs> so it's uh, really great and um so energy play shop 46 we we're going we're gonna to talk about two layers of energy um 29 inches and 39 inches those two we're going to talk about um what what each of those layers are for and of course experience them I'm excited to talk about those too, because they they really give us um, a lot of access and healing power as well. So um, before I go into details to talk about those, let's do our presence meditation. So just take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in. So breathe in through your nose, slowly and deeply. Breathe in. And when you can breathe in no more, then breathe out. And simply let go. So continue on with the presence meditation. One more breathe in. And breathe out, let go. Continue on to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for your body. And each time you breathe in, imagine that you're breathing in pure love. Pure love from the creator source. And as you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. And as you breathe in, also call back all of your own attention and energy. We send out our energy to different people, places, and things all day long. So in this moment, call them all back. You need all of your own attention and energy in this moment in order to stay in this moment. Do this for yourself. You are so worth it. As you call back your all of your attention, feel yourself, feel that you're more solid. Pay attention to what's going on inside your body. And experience what you actually feel like within your body, experience that. And the more you put your focus back on yourself, the more solid you become. And the more you can be in this present moment, and be able to embody yourself completely. And when you feel you're all here, 
Then you can come back to the room, breathe in and open your eyes. Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> so I've been talking about different layers of energies and what we can do in each of those layers. And to, tonight, we are talking about the 29th and the 39th layers. So 29th and the 39th inch layer. So um, 29th, let's, let's go with 29th first. So what is the 29th inch layer. So let me just skip over to my notes. Okay, got it. Okay, so 29th. So um, 29th inch. So think of it as being 29 inch either above your head or 29 inch from your body. So so when I say 29 inch, it's not just above. It's all around you, all around your body at 29 inch. There is a, um, a layer of energy. And what this layer, this layer is actually in the fifth dimension um, because the, the gateway for the fifth dimension is 32 inches. So between the fourth and the, the fifth, so the, the, the gateway for the fourth is 16 inch. So between 16 inch and 32 inch, that those layers, that's all considered the fifth dimension. So fifth dimension is actually um, where we have access. We have a lot more access. And what 29th inch can give you is that you pretty much can call on anyone. You can call on Ascended Masters. You can call on um, Archangels. You can call on anybody that you can think of. So when you call on them, you will feel the energy right there with you. And depending on um, how comfortable you are in terms of being able to understand um, energy, to, to get feedback from them. You can actually ask questions. You can ask, let's, let's actually just have an, an experience of that, okay? So <laughs> let's just, we just did a, a meditation, so we don't. That means that we we kind of in the zone already. So all we need to do is simply get back to that zone. Get back to that zone of being in an altered state. We just get back to that state. and um, activate your zero point energy. So zero point activate. And just feel your zero point energy starting to come online. And 29 inch activate. Okay, so we are in 
29 inch, 29 inch activate. So now let's call on Buddha. Buddha activate. Notice what you feel. Okay, so disconnect from Buddha. Thank you very much. And now let's call on Kuan Yin. So Kuan Yin, activate. Feel, feel the energy of Guan Yin and kind of think of whether what's different and what is the same as Buddha. They are two completely different set of energies. Where do you feel the energy more? Okay, great. Kuan Yin disconnect. Thank you, Kuan Yin. So now let's experience what Archangel Raphael feels like. Archangel Raphael, activate. Archangel Raphael, disconnect. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Okay, so this is just to um, let you experience a little bit about what it's like to um, communicate with all these different, I would say, ascended masters in this layer. So questions so far? Any comments about the experience? How how do you were you able to feel any of them? I felt energy. I don't know who is Quan Yen, but I feel energy. It's strong one. Okay, so you feel energy. Now all of them feel the same or do they feel different? Actually, for Buddha and Kuan Yin, I gave the task. I wanted them to heal my hips. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't help yourself. <laughs> While I have you here. <laughs> and I actually I feel it in my hips. It was working. It it does something. Uh, With Quan Yin, it feels a little bit more like aggressive. Okay, that's interesting. But I don't know who is that. So Guan Yin is, um, I, I guess it's more Chinese or, or I should say, yeah, um, or of the Buddha. Um, so Guan Yin is, um, is the, the archetype is compassion. So, so when I call on Guan Yin, I feel it more in my heart. Whereas when I when I call on Buddha, I, I actually feel it more um in my head. And when I call on Archangel Raphael, I really feel it in my like it's like a whole the whole central column is like really yeah, yeah I can really feel it. So it's all all there. So so that's that's how I I feel it. The the it's different energies. So um, if you, if whatever it is that is troubling you is more of an emotional nature, call in Guan Yin. It, emotional it, Guan Yin. So yeah, any kind of emotional healing or emotionally um, triggered illness, Guan Yin would be uh, a better choice. Um, so Buddha... I guess Buddha, Buddha can heal, but it's it would not be as um it is not like um it's more heady because Buddha is more it, it's a wisdom tradition. Yes. Yeah, I um, felt it more of a uh, teaching. Yeah. More of a teaching healing style. Yes, and um, I I. I call him Archangel Raphael because Raphael is is the Archangel for healers. So if in doubt call on Archangel Raphael um, for healing the body because he's a healer. Archangel Raphael for healing the body? Yeah. Like uh, any of the other angels can probably heal can I'm quite sure can heal. It's just that the the um, that's his specialty because he he is really the um the the god that has healed himself or herself. So that's that's the archetype of um Raphael, Archangel Raphael. Now it really depends on whom you resonate with. We can actually call on Franco. Absolutely, we can do that. Because we can call on anybody. I'm sure Franco would be able to heal as well. So, I actually want you to experience this. Because when we go to 39 inch, it will be very different experience. It's a very different experience. Because... Um, For um, the other uses for 29 inch is you can actually go there and call on, let's say, if I want to have a conversation with my daughter, because, you know, we, we have, let's say we went a quarrel and I really wanted to um, resolve that um, energetically before we actually have a, a physical conversation about it then you can do that in 29 inch. You can call on anybody. You can call on um, people that are alive, not just ascended masters. But what is the 29 inch? Why is it 29 inches? Not like 12 or <clears throat> 29. Well, you know, Sifu James, he, he likes to <laughs> experiment. So he actually went in to experience each layers of energy. So the first Feels. layer is like one inch, 
So he divided as every inch is a layer. Right. <clears throat> so what he has discovered, so that's what he's been teaching us is each of those layers. He has discovered what their, their uses are. So the 29 inch for him is where we actually, he, he discovered that that's where we actually can call on the, the special power there is we can talk to anyone dead or and alive we can talk to. So it actually give us a lot of access and also we can ask them to um, heal us as well. The, the thing is, when you call on healing, you actually have to be prepared to stay in that uh, healing mode for as long as it takes. So you can't just say, oh, uh, Guan Yin, heal me, and I'm only here for two minutes, and then I'm gone, and you think you're fixed. No, it does not work that way. If it takes you, let's say, 15 minutes to get healed, you stay in this for 15 minutes. And let, let's say, of course, if you, if it, let's say, it takes you an hour, and you don't have an hour, so what you need to do is, um, if you only have 30 minutes, then after 30 minutes, you disconnect. You have to say disconnect and really know that, okay, I only have 30 minutes. So do whatever you can in 30 minutes and then disconnect. And then the next time you reconnect again and continue on with the healing. So that's what you... If you seriously want to heal, get healing, that's what you need to do. So it's just kind of like to put you to understand that at that level or that energy level, uh, it, helps, it helps you get more intentional. Like for me, like say you can just call them in, doesn't matter what energy level you're at but if you call if you go to energy 29 then you're being specific so by being specific you can be more intentional yeah um you also, so there is a i would say there there's um there are things that you needed to do before you you can actually access the 29 inch. You have to actually feel it. It's not just say, okay, I call 29, that's it, I'm there. Um, we did meditation before. So you have to actually get yourself to a point where you relax first and you're in a um, meditative state. And then you make sure that like to be really efficient in healing, you have to make sure that your own energy is running properly and also you open the zero point. So you have so, access. So what's a little bit about zero point? So is zero just... point <clears throat> zero point is a specific place within your body because our um our our soul is so is much bigger than our body. So there are within the body, there are specific points where we are connected to our soul. So zero point is a specific place of connection where we, we actually have um, a lot more connection to our soul. So zero point is, um, you know where the, the sternum is? is? So if you like find where your sternum is and it's one finger, like this one finger with above that's zero point that's your each body's zero point so like here yeah find where the your the sternum is and then you find the bottom and then you go one finger with up that's zero point if you push there lightly don't don't uh, don't be too forceful. 
you feel that there's it's, it's a little tender. So that's that's the zero point energy. And if you actually notice, or or I should say, what I have noticed is when my guides talk to me, or when entities talk to me at night, I feel it there, because I feel that there's um, an energy there, um, kind of like um, a a weight there. That's when I know somebody is trying to get my attention. So, so is he saying that's the only place in the body that the soul is connected <laughs> or it's just no, one? No, that's, that's just the, um, one of the more, um, special place for the connection. There, we are connected like a palm as well. So there are major energy centers that's connected within the body that's connected to the soul. There are many so, um, connections. And the heart? Yeah. And what about the bottom of the feet? Yeah, that's a major energy point as well. So, so yeah, there are, a, there are a multiple points that our body and our soul is connected. However, the zero point is a... <clears throat> Um, a point where we actually can get access to like the we can actually go all the way back to source so that is a, a powerful point okay you see I sent you a picture in your whatsapp about the zero point oh okay thanks <laughs> Thank you, Roxana. <clears throat> I'm just like covered in red patches today. Red patches? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what's going on? You got hit by the... Uh, I think it's... I think I'm just cooking. I'm just cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I have it all on my thighs, too. Mm -hmm. Just on my thighs and my forearms. I have a little bit on the back of my neck, but that one seems to come and go, like, really quick. But this one is, like, a little bit more prominent with my thighs. Um, and on my thighs, it's bumpy. I, yeah, my, my sinus has been like really acting up I, and I've been drinking so much water <clears throat> our body because the energies are so high now so our body is actually um, doing a lot of detoxing so I'm yeah. not surprised that you you have these all over your body so but that this too shall pass yeah I'm not worried about it because it's not, it doesn't itch me. If it itched me, then yeah, I'd probably be killing yeah, somebody. That would, right be now. Bit, that would be a bit more <laughs> aggravating. Yeah, so I, I use the wand and I use aloe vera and then aloe vera. And it helps. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I've literally felt like there was about a week that I just could not cool down. It was like cooking from the inside. The skin was cooking. And I'm like, oh, my God, what's happening? <laughs> no, no worries. Ten more days, you'll be back in Canada. <laughs> Watch <your Wow>. cool. <laughs> Don't remind me. Are you going to be back for good? Or are you going to come back? I don't know. Doing God's will right now. Yep. <laughs> By the way, about the diaphragm, and you said that it's uh, sore. It's not supposed mm -hmm. to be sore. Diaphragm is a place uh, where it's the heart of our lymphatic drainage. So we mm -hmm. have to put our hands like this, like under the diaphragm, and, and breathe with the stomach in. And you're going to feel really... Uh, 
you know, really sore and out and in and out and then breathe with the heart, I mean, with the lungs. And also you're gonna feel tension there and then massage it and massage it here. It's not supposed what? to be tender. It means that it's under, under the tension, it's stuck. I don't feel it tender. Put your uh, put the side of your hands under the ribs, right? Under the diaphragm. Take big inhale, but with the stomach, and hold it under. You don't feel tender. Mm -mm. Great, you're in a great shape. And it's now good. take inhale with your uh, chest. and massage in front here. It's not supposed to be tender. Okay. Excellent. So, um, <clears throat> any questions about 20E9? I explained it absolutely, uh, it's crystal clear. Sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let me see. Have I? Okay, now let's. So now let's go to 39 then. So um, there's a lot of similarities between 29 and 39. However, there is one big difference between 29 and 39. So Normally, if you do 29 yourself, I would suggest that you call on protection first <laughs> for 29, because you, yeah. Um, uh, however, for 39, you don't have to even do that. You don't have to do that, because the one thing about 39 is it, it actually gives you three layers of protection. Um, <clears throat> so what are the three layers? Mind, body, and spirit. So those three layers of protection. So if we, if you really can see energy and you get to 39 inch, you can actually see your, the, yourself like in a, being surrounded by kind of like a golden egg because the energy is golden. According to Sifu James, I don't see the colors, so I don't know. But I do notice that when I get to 39, yeah, I can see that there is this layer of energy. So it's like a, so the layer of energy is like when you see, you see I'm surrounded by this circle. <laughs> that's why yeah. I picture. this picture. Uh. So that's what you, that's, that's what it gives you. <clears throat> so that is yeah. the, the one thing I that is, difference between 29 and 39 I could see the the bubble around me like there is a big difference I didn't have that at 29 yeah 39 and um, that's so okay so everybody let's uh, let's let's go to 39 and we'll call in those like Guan Yin and um, Buddha and um, Archangel Raphael again and see if you can feel the difference it's, it's very different it's actually yeah so <clears throat> okay so just take a few deep breaths in to center yourself again and make sure your zero point is activated it's or it's still activated And 39 inch activate. And if you're not sure whether you're in 39 inch, there's something that um, Super James taught us is you use your hands. So 
<clears throat> so you have your hands like um, not too far apart first, and then you say 39 inch activate. And you should feel and and it, the energy getting fast uh, faster and and you actually the energy actually starting to push your hands apart until they are about thirty nine inches apart. And that's when you know that you're there. Um, so don't try to force anything and let the energy itself push your hands apart. So let, let your hands be your guide when you are there. So at some point, your, your palms would stop moving out anymore. And it's about 39 inch. So 39 inches, actually, we're in six dimensional energy now. So if you, so let's now experience what it feels like to call on. So we'll do Buddha first, because that's what we, who we did first. So let's call in Buddha. So Buddha activate. Disconnect from Buddha. Thank you. Now, Quan Yin, activate. Okay, Guan Yin, disconnect. Let's call on Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael, activate.
Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Disconnect. <clears throat> Okay, so let's come back and do you feel any, how does it feel this time when we call on those Ascended Master and Mac Angels? I felt Buddha in the Kuan Yin in my head and Archangel Raphael, I feel in my hands and from my hard up it was huge wave of energy okay now how does it compare to what you felt when you're at 29 inch does it feel yeah, like i did wrong in 29 inch I, I did so i cannot really compare because right now i did what you asked and last time i didn't mm. mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so what what i felt um how i feel it differently is <clears throat> at 29 inch when when i call on um buddha buddha is like i can feel his energy right here next to me and when i call in guan yin guan yin's energy is like right here next to me so it the energy is like right around me whereas when i do the 39 inch i feel the energy but they are not right there um it that's according to Sibu james it's because whomever it is we can call on the because we have this 39 inch protection so their energy can come in but they can't come in so it means we can communicate with them <clears throat> However, we have this protection, so they, they can't really come in. The energy can come in, or the healing energy, and if you want to ask questions, then yes, you can, you can ask them questions, and you'll be able to hear their answer as well. So you're saying at 39 inch, only their energies are coming in? Yep. Yeah. Because Raphael, when he came in, it was on the peripheral and then he came around me like this. Yeah. So it's so like this. At 29 inch, he came in like this. And yeah. He had a <laughs> tower over me. Yeah. Where this time he came around and he stayed like, here's a couple of inches in between. Mm -hmm. And then not like dominating just very subtle and then um and then kuan yin she, is kuan yin a male because i it always feels female energy <clears throat> um i think it is a male right isn't it is it? a male it is a yeah. male yeah but it's it's a compassion energy so that's why um a lot of the times um he's depicted as a female Ah, oh. <laughs> but actually a male. <laughs> okay, because so I was like, I thought he was a male, but every time I feel him, it's like this female energy. Mm -hmm. uh, Buddha was very in my head, just ding, ding, ding. And then I went, was that Buddha? So I did it again and then it activated it again. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Because Buddha before just sat here. On the left side. Did you see him? I see him in, yeah, like I have a visual of it. And Kuan Yin came in, Kuan Yin came here on the 29th inch, but this time came in this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, you feel the difference. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can feel the difference. So the, the difference is that um, <clears throat> when I mean, the difference between 29 inch and 39 inch is 29 inch is personal. So you work on yourself and whomever it is you call on, they'll come and work on you, communicate with you. 
whereas for 39 inch, um, because you are under this protection, you can actually be healing other people. Meaning that you you call when you call in the 39 inch, you can actually have, let's say, um, your your son, your daughter, your mother, whomever it is, or client that you want to work on, you can you can just energetically help them within the 39 inch circle as well. So mm -hmm. when you call on the the like let's say Archangel Raphael to come and heal, <clears throat> um, you can actually feel or see if you if you uh, can see energy, you can actually see the different um, lines of light that's coming in to heal the person. Is and it going to work if I'm going to have physical touch to nine inches? What, what's that? If I'm going to have physical touch, if I'm going to do like in person massage for client, uh, Tori 9 each going to work. It's going to protect me and it's going to heal my client. If I'm going to ask for Raphael to come to help. If you want to, yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't quite understand what you mean by you protection. Are you physically doing you, the massage? Yes. When I do like in my office, when I do physically, like for my clients, when I do face yeah. massage, I physically <laughs> touch them. So if I'm going to want to bring like more help and bring um, Ar Archangel Raphael. <laughs> why are you laughing? Keep going, keep going. Keep going. And... Uh, and at the same time, I'm going to activate this 39 inch. It's going to work. It's going to bring more help for the person. Yes. But it's going to work because you always said because of physical touch, it's not working. Protection. That's what I mean by, I don't know what you mean by work. Work. What work? Be more specific. Like if I do face massage for the client. Yeah. Usually you told me because you do physical touch, protection doesn't work. So this one going to work. If I'm going to work physically on a client, do face massage, for example. If you're saying this, can you protect yourself from your client? No, still does not. No. no. <clears throat> it still does not because you're actually touching your client. Got it. So if that, you're if that you don't have any protection against your client, no, you don't have. Hmm. However, when you're in thirty nine inch, you can. I would like if I were you, I would. I would okay. You know, like before I um start on working on a client, is I would actually um you know call on. I don't know who, who you would call on, Let, let's say Archangel Raphael, to um, I would say call on Archangel Raphael to heal whatever it is that you may be getting from your client. Hmm. Okay. Give that a um like I don't know, try it. It may help because as you're working on someone else, someone else is working on you. Okay. The thing with um, all these energy though, with um, 39 inch though, you have to get good at holding the 39 inch energy while you're working as well. So, so you have to really practice holding the 39 inch energy. So you have to be in meditative state when you're working. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. If that, if that's your, and 
you see, if that's your intention, if that's your intention, is to be healed. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I would put like intention prior to going in and then you need to fill yourself up with the light. You need to fill yourself up with the light. What do you mean up with the light? I don't well, know. Well, you need to like, you need to be armed with the light, with your powers, with your, you know, protection mechanism. Because if you have more light than your client that you're touching, then you'd be able to infuse light into your, like so many times I've gone to a massage and I'd be on the table clearing them. And they'd be like putting all their yucky energy on me. And I went, oh my God. So that would be like clearing <laughs> down. <laughs> so they wouldn't pour their crap on me. And then by the end of this thing, there we both were. Oh, how was that? Wow, that was a lot of freaking work, let me tell you. <laughs> it's not relaxing for me. You should, yeah, you need to get paid <laughs> rather than paying them for giving you a massage. <laughs> right, so, because they're like touching so many, so many different people all day and then they have their own crappy life, right? Because it's a lot of work, massage. And so with you, if you're going to continually, are you touching many people? Because if you're touching many people, you got to clear yourself every time. But I I bring on my light. Even when I'm doing the wand and I'm not touching the person, I bring in my own light so that I could be more in tune with what's going on for them. So I can, you know, where do I need to focus? But... I don't understand that sentence. I bring my own light. You connect to the light or you send the love. That means the light. What does it mean you bring your own light? You have to fill yourself up first. Yeah, so if you're talking appreciation and gratitude and love for yourself and oh my God, I feel so amazing. I just super love myself today. I have an amazing life. You know, like if you just go on and on and on, you're just like, oh, and you're going to walk into the room like, hey, I'm here. And people are really like, whoa, you're going to walk <laughs> with a hundred watt. <laughs> yeah, no, <I> don't <laughs> <really like. laughs> so it's that's what helps fill the light on top of asking your guides and your team to fill you up with the lights. But you got to like supercharge it. You got to turn the motors on. Mm -hmm. And then you turn them on through gratitude, appreciation, love. Wow, it's like my life is great. You know, everything, everything's amazing. I love this client. You can't be going in going, huh, my life sucks. And what am I doing this? I mean, so your light will only be this small, and then your client will might have a shitty life, and then she'll just eat you up for breakfast. <laughs> And you leave there exhausted. And make sure when every time you finish with a client, is, is you really declare that you disconnect from that client. Yeah, and I physically do it, right? I physically disconnect. do it. Disconnect. I do like yeah. this and cut the cord. Yeah, I, and that's what I do. I cut and then I physically take it off my hands. Yeah, whatever works for you because like like um whatever ritual works for you yeah if you feel you need to wash your hands wash your hands so wash your hands if you, yeah. you just need to cut then cut so yeah because we you're working with your own um energy system so if you whatever works for you thank you Okay, anyways, let me, let's get back to 39 inch. So with 39 inch, you can pretty much heal yourself. You can heal anyone else. So for yourself, um, the suggestion is even if you're healing yourself, is to imagine yourself lying in front of you. 
because you don't just want to um, <clears throat> experience it. You don't want to just the 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 best way is you observe yourself being healed. Then you know what's what is being healed, and also you would get information about how come you um, was uh, how come you got the illness as well. So what you may be able to see is, let's say if you um, call on Archangel Raphael, if you can see energy, then um, what, what you will see is like beams of energy coming into your body. How many beams, depending on how many parts of your body needed to be helped. So that's, so each beam for each part of your energy. And whenever the, that part of your energy is healed, then the beams would be gone. <clears throat> if you can't see, then you ask question because you can't see doesn't mean you don't get the information. It's just that um, the information does not come to you through vision. Then you just ask how, so um, how, many, how, how many places am I getting healed? Like you would feel on your body as well, but you ask as well. Let's say Archangel Raphael says, okay, you're getting healed in <clears throat> three places. Then um, you can ask, oh, okay, so first one, how long is it going to take? And if the answer is it's going to take two hours, then then you really have to um, think of, okay, I only have 30 minutes then you have to have that communication with the um, whomever it is that you're calling in and let them know, okay, I only have 30 hour, 30 minutes, so what can you do in 30 minutes? Let them know. And then the next, the, the, the second place, maybe only need 10 minutes. And the, the third one, maybe an hour. So <clears throat> however long you have, you have 30 minutes, you let them know that's the only time you have. And after 30 minutes, you disconnect from them. And then you just reconnect next time when you have time. And um, so, so now that you know how long it's going to take, make sure you have that length of time for you to really receive the full healing and not have it all chopped up in, you know, don't just go... Can I, again, um, if you know it's going to take two hours, don't just connect, you know, 10 minutes at a time. It's going to take you so many times. And so that's just not respecting yourself. Like give yourself the time to get healed. So that's the recommendation. So it's you actually do not ask to heal certain part of the body they choose what to heal correct if you know exactly which part then you can ask for it but a lot of the times you may not even know places that need that needed to be helped so because i remember sifu james told us that in fifth dimension we have to ask for healing 39 inches six dimension six I told in seven dimension it heals whatever. It's six also? Six, yeah. So you don't need to be specific. Yep. So six dimension heals your body as well as emotional body? Okay. Yep. Um if it, if there is an emotional component, you you can ask, so what is the, so what was the, like you, you may get information about, okay, so this is about a past life or mm -hmm. maybe, okay, this is about something that happened when you were five years old, something like that. So ask. Is if there ever a component where it's not emotionally attached? Um, there may be some, maybe there may be some things that are 
like more physical. If it's purely physical, then yeah, there won't be an emotional component to it. Then usually those would be healed, I would say, faster. Well, I'm just seeing that you know, <clears throat> nine out of 10 times, there's an emotional component to it. It'd be very rare yeah, that there is a, a lot of the times, yeah. So <laughs> don't worry about your, oh, is it a physical or emotional? Mm -hmm. Just go straight to clear up what's <laughs> the emotional find out. Or thoughts. Yeah, ask about it. And you ask because it's um like if you can if you can see then you sh surely you may be able to see um uh the you may be shown like a vision of what happened and you would see yourself as being um a younger age then you know okay something happened at that. I just remember what Jason Este said, like mid-January is we're now um, in the fourth dimension and that's when <laughs> we're re all releasing a victim is going to take place. <laughs> and it's going to be a big release. That came in the 39-inch uh, bubble. I'm like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But also the 39 inch bubble. When I did a session with Franco, long story short, I wasn't sleeping at night because of the entities. And then, so he said, put a bubble around me to sleep so that, so I can have safety and not feel like I'm being attacked in my sleep. Mm -hmm. And then when I did the 39 inch, I felt like my bubble was just on the outside of 39 inch. Cool. Yeah, I, I remember your night terrace. <laughs> I remember that story. <clears throat> but they showed me where my bubble, how far out my bubble was. Mm -hmm. and, and it sat in the seventh dimension. So Vinny, in 39 saying. inches, you can you can see how you how um uh, whoever you ask Ar Archangel Raphael healing yourself. You just watching it. So you cannot heal anyone else, correct? You can. You, you can? can. You you yeah. just imagine that. She or he lay down in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't hear other people. Yes. I'm suggesting that you, even when you hear yourself, you <clears throat> see yourself um, in front. That's that's just to get more information. Because okay. when you are um, when you are witnessing something, you actually get more information. Whereas if you're just you know okay, I'm here to receive he healing, you may not be as um, objective about getting information. Okay. Yeah. So give that a try. Really start to. Heal, um, heal other people, or or heal yourself. I've been using it as well. So the what I find is, um, you really have to check in how long it takes, because um, some may take longer. So if you don't give yourself enough time to be in in that healing mode, then you like after after you've done it you may um say oh how come i still feel that <clears throat> you really check in how long it's going to take and give yourself that healing time 
And then disconnect and say yeah. thank you. And disconnect yeah, and thank you, yes. A lot of times when I do a healing session on myself, I'm always bringing my mother and my son in. It's an, like almost an automatic. Because okay. we are all of the similar DNA. So we all get zapped at one time. <laughs> so if I'm going to bring, for example, my sister and she has... Um um autoimmune disease it's no chance that i can take on myself that disease no chance i wouldn't say no chance so let me let me put it this way you are the one that actually decides that so you have an agreement with yourself ahead of time okay i am going to heal my sister and i am not up for taking on what she gets got it yeah i think a lot of times you can take on the emotions behind it The emotions or the thoughts. Like sometimes when I bring my mom in, I can literally like feel her emotions and her thoughts. They're not mine. And then I can go, oh. Yeah. It's I'm not uh, gonna take on her coughing or anything. I don't I don't believe that. I, I'm not interested in that. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, there's been many times where I've been able to see the thoughts and the emotions. Or my sons. It's always a good idea to know what's yours, like check in, know what's yours and what's not yours. It's always a good idea. Yeah, especially when you, you're doing that, right? And all of a sudden, you're just like starting to cry like a baby. You're like, wow, what the heck happened? Or if you're feeling a stabbing pain in your body or something all of a sudden, or you're like, oh, you know, you're like, and then you got to check it's like, whoa, where the heck did that come from? Is that mine? Yeah. Is that mine or someone else's? Uh -huh. And then they'll say, it's not yours. So then you got to cut. Yeah, yeah always, energy right there. always disconnect when you're done. And then when you do it, right in the middle of it, you can literally feel the pain like disappear. It's like, shit, thank God I caught that. Because I, and you, to get, you get in the throes of it, you're like, you get, oh my God, I'm being stabbed to death. And you're thinking that it's yours, right? So then yeah. you get stuck there. And then you experience the whole experience. But you have to grab it right away and go, whoa, where did that come from? Is that mine? Is that someone else's? Whose is this? Even if you can't get those answers, just cut anyways. Yeah. Cut the court. Yeah. This, this yeah. Cut first and then see if it, that fears anything. Yeah. Or even when you're working on your clients and you start feeling like you're about to faint or something. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it happens. When... I just feel like the heaviness in your head is like, wow. I feel tired. Like I was yeah, so tired. full of energy. All of a sudden, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, I just went, whoa. <laughs> so you just immediately cut. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Was there anything else, Winnie? Um, in terms of 39, no, that's it. Oh. 
It's, it's, oh. it's powerful. It allows you to heal yourself. You can call on anybody. You can also heal other people. So. <laughs> Did you ever meet uh, Antonia? She used to put on sessions, uh, seminars with Bijan and Franco and all that. Oh, oh of course. Hear? Yeah. You know, Antonia, right? Yes. And she used to, oh yeah, with James too. Well, mm -hmm. she brought in a guy, Will Linville. He's a walking alien. Yeah. In between. Bijan and Franco, there was Will Linville. And she, she had somebody lay on the table at the front of the room and ask for a volunteer to come down and check the energy and stuff. So I volunteered and Will was there, I was there and Antonio was there. So then it was like, you know, they did their things to protect themselves. I did nothing. I was just like, I'm just standing there. Okay, let's get in, right? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> so next thing you know, I'm doing what they're doing. And next thing you know, my body is in so much pain, like so fast, five minutes, five, 10 minutes. I'm in so much pain. And I turned to Will and I nearly grabbed him. I'm like, Will, I, I, I'm like dying. I am in so much pain right now. What's happening? <laughs> then, he, then Antonio goes, Okay, see, this is what not to do. You just don't go in there with no protection. Like this is because yeah, I literally took all the pain from this woman's body. It was like, and then I found out she was full of cancer. Oh my God. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. That was, that was like experience. Like I really learned my lesson that day. Yes, it was you very and learn. <laughs> very very painful cancer like and she passed away like a few months later but mm -hmm. so and that's how important it is to protect like you're not going to nail it every time how many times i walked in somebody's house as a realtor took on their energy left my hips go out wow yeah or you're like exhausted you're like wow that was really exciting. Um, if I were you, Tatiana, I would like <clears throat> when you get some downtime, write out a mantra for yourself that has something to the extent that you <clears throat> um, end the contract that you have to take on other people's energy. Because you, you have it in your belief field that you have to take on other people's energy. So write out a mantra for yourself and, and, and do that mantra. Like I end the contract. My contract is ending. Uh, end it. Yeah. I, how, I don't know what what wording will work best for you because you're the one that's carrying it. So you have to find the wording that for you, when you listen to it, when you hear those words, you know that it's done. You're done with that contract. You no longer need to take on other people's energy. So what is the purpose of taking on other people's energies? Like, why would you do that? I don't know. Do you think you're... Doing something I just by feel I just feel that I don't know it's that I'm doing that but I don't know the purpose um you you would know but you just have to look at it deeper and yeah because when I, that's why I'm asking you ask I, of, I I don't want to do this here because I still want to do something else with you guys oh okay but I want you, you to you know, take some time um, because you're a powerful person. You can heal yourself. You've already proven that to, to yourself. So I am definitely sure you can do this. So all you need is actually some time and ask questions. If I were to know, what would that be? What would that um, reason be? So something like that, and r write out a mantra that you you're done with that contract, and keep on seeing it for 
that mantra for 21 days because it takes about 21 days to really break a habit or to form a new one. And you are, what you're doing is breaking a habit. Okay, so if I'm not going to find the answer, why? Can I just say if that you, I wanna... if, you, if you have really like try it yourself first and if you really have trouble then let me know and we can find a time to do it okay but why okay. because you go to your own self first because you have the answer you just have to ask questions just be patient with yourself you always say i don't know so if you were to know what would that be okay so so just yeah i have to try the time with yourself do and and write and and just you know whatever comes write it all down and just try to the what you're looking for is really a sentence or two that is going to convince yourself or or to declare that you know you're done with that contract of taking on other people's energy so something to that effect okay okay thank so, you you're welcome. What I want to do is the, the final meditation with everybody is really to um like let's let's give ourselves um we have maybe about um a little less than 20 minutes to receive healing. So let's take um all of us to go to 39 inches and um so i'm gonna call on uh Kangel Raphael because for me that is kind of the the, the swiss army knife of healing <laughs> <laughs> so so i'm gonna call on swiss army knife <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yeah so so let's do that so you mm, so just um have the conversation with our King Drew Raphael that you know we have let's say we're 15 minutes let's say so 15 minutes bring on full blast whatever we can do in 15 minutes wonderful okay so let's I'm gonna stop the recording